around this one. But the conversation was so interesting that we thought we have to do a more expanded uh, session again today. Manuslak ko bare mata parla banda keri. It's uh, it's something that we are doing as a group called the Council for Democratic Civic Engagement, which was an idea that came up among friends to explore the idea whether uh, issues that people normally discuss in very different platforms or at different venues can be done in a more open way, even among strangers, like politics. Jute political party maunsa, political groups maunsa, family maunsa. There are with strangers, normal citizens do not ever sit, we don't see it very often that strangers, people who do not normally know each other will sit down and discuss in a focused way issues of politics, of and now with the municipal elections coming up, we got really excited with the idea. And this series, Bhannosna, we are kind of experimenting with. And the idea being that stakeholders, right? I am to focus, unfortunately, Gangtok myself because we don't have uh, a footprint in the other urban areas. There are Gangtok, uh, so most of the discussions are centered around Gangtok and the municipal elections here. So we thought we'd bring stakeholders, people who've grown up here, who've lived here, young people who are just starting out on their lives like the three of you are to talk about what they want from their city right it does not matter whether the gmc komatyo responsibilities or powers are let's argue china to pachiko kurao that like aspirations their understanding of the city what it means to them and how they are looking at this whole process theo eta conversation thalu banega hamle samjha kate so with us today i'll start from uh, my right We've got Pema Chomu. You are an architect who's recently completed her um, studies mm -hmm. and you're working in Gangtok now. Yeah. And she is a complete Gangtokian, I would say, right? You've grown up in like two, three different yeah. parts of Gangtok, starting yeah. from? Starting from Nam Nam. And then? Kasi Road, and then Tatung Chen, and then Tadong, and then Swastik. Oh, okay. So, yeah, all of these awards now, all of them come under the urban area. And uh, we have with us Suvarna Nepal. Thank you for being here. She is on the verge of completing her um, studies, also as an architect, and is currently interning. Yes, I'm in in Gangtok oh. and uh, Tadung, right? Uh, Bojogari. I lived in Tadung, then I shifted to Bojogari. So you're currently in Bojogari. Yes. Yeah, both two different ends of Gangtok. Even the weather is different. Exactly. Between Tadung and Bojogari, but it's still urban. Yeah. And we have with us Kunzang Chuki who is also a Gangtokian. Maybe 20 years back, you're, you grew up in Tadang Chen. Nice. Yeah, which was kind of, again, like a suburb of Gangtok, right? But now it's completely it's included. A, it's a and she also runs a restaurant in the heart of town, Tharolai. Bibliothek. <coughs> Bibliothek. And th it does not get any more Gangtok-centric than Tharolai, right? You get both ends of it. You get the posh MG Marg and the, the, more, fun, the more fun <laughs> Lal Bazaar, I, get, I would say. So, uh, <coughs> thank you all for being here. Thank you for having us. Yes, and uh, so the general idea with this discussion was that we'll, of course, we can, we can see where the conversation goes. Uh, but, but since this is election season, season yeah. and municipal elections are coming up, it's a different kind of a municipal election. So, so if you could just give me a sense of politics, much a interest here, and now, It'll be a good way if you could tell me the assembly election, how excited and interested you were. And now with the municipal elections, which are in a different style, they are being held this time. How has that changed your approach to politics? We'll start with Pema. Um, I am 23, so I, I think I, I'm just on that, like just going into adulthood, right? So as a teenager, you don't really think much about these things. Uh, so um, when we talk about politics, obviously I'm concerned, I'm really concerned about what's happening in the society or like what's happening in the state, how things are, uh, and about leaders and all. So like you asked how excited I was about the... 2019, the that would have been the first time you voted, right? Yeah. If you voted. Uh, yeah, but I couldn't vote because I was okay. out of out of state. Uh, so so I wouldn't say I was much excited about it because there wasn't much um, to be excited about. Mm -hmm. I'd say because, see, our leaders are, the people who are like running for the elections, they need to be inspiring. 
and you know yeah so i don't know this could be polarizing <laughs> no no i think it is absolutely true i think it's important for the leaders to get a sense of how the young look at them right you can't keep repeating like the same speech yeah yeah i, mean, I don't know I'm, that's how i feel like so you really you're not attracted to that uh sort of space you know so in that sense yeah i wasn't really into the election but uh, right now like you said now the municipal elections they have been conducted in a different way so uh, now we are sort of excited about it and we really want to be able to uh voice our concerns and uh, put out uh, put our points across to the candidates who mm -hmm. are and we also want to hear back what they have to say <laughs> and how they think they will be able to uh, give back to the place. Yeah, so you're a voter in now? Uh, I'm a voter in Kabi actually. No, that, oh yeah, Ele but you're settled, Assembly. which is the ward that you'll be concerned with? I'd say Tatanchan area. Tatanchan area, yeah. okay. Yeah, that's been, an, uh, we'll get to some of the points that you teased out um, once we're done with this round. Mm -hmm. So we move on to Suvarna. Uh, how, how was it with you? I mean, because I think, I mean, how much was politics discussed at home? And um, there's sometimes if everyone is talking politics at home, but did that excite you? Did that bore you following what was happening in political space? And I did change the approach. So, like, I heard a lot of what you said about the election. But uh, realize, like while growing up, I realized unchani, like in Sikkim politics is more like a game, unchani. like isli isto gario, so hami isto gario, it's not for the public ko welfare. Ko like, <laughs> it's ah, more, that's a fascinating it's more, point. Yeah. It's more about power, yeah. like satta ma ko cha, uh, they have that word, uh, who's on the throne khalko, yeah. so it's more like that, unchani. instead for the public, so I think it's very interesting to see a lot of young people coming up and saying it's not about that, it's about us, like a democracy, or it's like of the people, by the people, for the people, it's our power, so it's the same thing, so I think we are realizing instead of the power hungry people, we need more inspiring people, people who are willing to work for the betterment of the whole community. So. Yeah, so are you, more, are you following the current, um, 2019? Uh, I wasn't or? here, but uh, I still got the updates in any college taking like- Family WhatsApp groups. So I was quite into it. There are, uh, I wasn't really into like GMC. Mm. So like I'll be happy to like follow it over because we are just having the candidates come up and say yes, yes. so we, it will be like very interesting to see in Chenyu Nako manifesto agenda or Makicha because it's they are not affiliated to any party in Chenyu about we had by Lapani individual like independent uh, candidates were always there yes. okay. by the time they would Garda Garda at a party man go and they had to follow what the party wanted them to do in Chenyu. So this time, it's, it will be very interesting. Yes. I think the point that I have said is that politics in Sikkim was between political leaders. One guy did something and the other guy strategizing. They were never really talking about or whatever. I mean, if that is even a consideration. So now we come to uh, Kunzang. Like I, I think you grew up in a family where I think politics was, was discussed. discussed at least, <laughs> right? Very much. Uh, like, I come and from uh, a was that something that you just ambient sound? Garma kura garde sa politics ko baare mein like no, sunu padegi. Were you actually ambient. involved? <laughs> it wasn't just ambient. Uh, my grandfather actually is an ex-politician. Yes. So yeah, politician ex kabi I mean they are always matlab, politicians. Yeah, he's a a politician so you know we've from childhood only we've seen that we've heard things being discussed so you've got supporters coming into the yeah. house and it was very taxing for us also the stress being yeah. women like let me talk about being women <laughs> yeah. because we had to make tea you know you oh, yes. attend those people and always have a smile on our faces mm. you know, like at VRs in the morning or did stay late till night and then 
they'd expect us to keep a straight like smiley faces on you know and we had to do all the chores like wow. do the dishes like make food for them make tea like copious amounts of tea after mm. tea after tea so tele got the kiri che i am what what do you say that up chuki hu type dinla because i've seen that side of politics yes. it's not like politics politics yes. but i know what it Entails. from the inside yes. i know what is required yeah so that always kept me from you know being or like even talking about politics because i don't want to do it anymore kalke hunchha ni la yeah i can completely get that i can completely get that i don't mark lena denai i don't want to have any sort of thing with politics but yeah this uh, 2019 elections everybody was excited and i with everybody else was, i was excited kinabani obviously paths were changing yeah the options and we were, were real, tired we were very tired <laughs> yes. so yeah it was exciting and i like abo municipal to bani bani che i'm not i don't follow it much also and i'm not excited also mm. because it's on paper it looks very good okay abo women empowerment and then you know majority of the posts are for women you know candidates are sabbe women are ola and it's not party affiliated or something like that yes. it's say but it's let's be honest it's on paper yes ola no because that's interesting uh, that's an interesting take on things because this will be the third time that municipal elections are being held uh, sikkim ma so i've been a journalist for a while so uh, we have covered two elections uh, two municipal elections also that were held pehla they were like walkovers and uh, there was no real campaigning either because it was kind of decided ki our ruling party le nahi our their mm-hmm. candidates will win so i think people were also not excited because their vote did not really matter and uh, the candidates were also not bothered because the ticket decided that they are going to win they did not have to go to the people and convince them to vote for them the table was laid in such a way but then when we aile ko junche uh, election announced by party less non partisan unsa banera like they can political parties cannot field Interfere candidates also i see a lot of young people getting excited about that i think a part of your interest in municipal elections is also primarily from that because amile herda kheri che it is in one way it is you'll have more options in the other way there is no family pressure because most family belong to some yeah. camp right so mm-hmm. family will decide we'll vote skm we'll vote sdf mm-hmm. congress i don't know no one congress really so much but bjp or whatever right then yeah ab people have the option ki okay we can choose between candidates coach mm-hmm. ramro sir so that has led to a lot of excitement uh i think among uh, among the young people because the quality of candidates changes you don't have to support parties so if you can have your thoughts on that i mean do you think this was a good idea i mean we'll talk about the perfections and imperfections i mean that was always there right on paper like you said but as an idea and on whom you responsible this is like an opportunity khol diya ni so as an idea what do you think about it and who do you think is responsible to make sure that this idea does not just fizzle out that we go somewhere with it the idea is great and the responsibility lies on the voters as well because we i have uh, seen this culture of uh, uh, okay so uh, mostly say the voters are lepani uh, like she said hamro uh, politicians are mostly about of course who are powers and all not for the greater good of the society in a similar way voters are lepani hamro mostly the vote halda kheri they are more about maile yola vote gare yo party like so they expect ki agar yo party jite bhani tya bara i'll get gain something out of it so voter are lepani vote gada kheri they generally i think fail to to uh, uh, as a society as a whole samaj ko lagi ki ramro huncha ki ba tyo che hernu una fail garcha they mostly abo afno um, reasons ko lagi vote dinu huncha ho and even like you said even if you want to uh, vote for a candidate because mala u kek to candidate mon paryo so uh, and sometimes you can't because to family camp ma huncha and to, uh, all of that politics is there but yeah so in this election just because of that just being able to support a candidate because you believe in that candidate no that's very important i feel and just being able to do that is exciting Yes. Yeah, because I think votes we should cast our votes responsibly, uh, not like because of vested interest. Yes, I mean of course uh, we should all be responsible voters, 
but now it's been made possible right yeah, there is no true. pressure that i don't like the party i like the guy but i don't like the party tyo mm -hmm. duvida as they call it right that does not exist anymore what, what what do you think about this whole experiment and how do we how do who makes it successful let's say uh, i think the num a number of uh, candidates like il uh, like standing up for the election unjani i think that's a very good thing because we can see a lot of people coming up and their ideas unjani even if a person gets elected he could still take their ideas because uh, if it's for the welfare of the people unjani he could always ask them to collaborate with them and work it out unjani so i think that's a good thing and also because aba justo kunai independent manche like uthnu bhare haina someone else might get inspired unjani for the next time unjani or his friends might say unjani ta pani uthna unjani you are also a great guy haina will will campaign for you so it might inspire other people unjani especially young people unjani so i think that's a very good thing unjani you don't have to be affiliated with any party ti hunda fer chai अब हो इट्स वेरी इट्स अ वेरी इंडिपेन्डेन्ट थिंग अब आप सोच हु यू कुड पुट इट फर्थ हो सो आई थिंक इट्स अ वेरी गुड स्टार्ट बिकज मैं भू खोजे लाइक अब एट अपर्चुनिटी खोलते फर गुड कैंडिडेट्स टू नट बी वरिड अबाउट कि मब पार्टी लड़न सक सो आई विल नट कंटेस्ट एज एन इंडिपेन्डेन्ट तो अपर्चुनिटी खोलता खेल नाउ दे समवन लाइक वट डू यू थिंक अबाउट दिस आइडिया Right. I mean, obviously, I mean, you have obviously heard this. Obviously, the idea is great. So, how do uh, what would how would you suggest that this does not get compromised, like diluted? Uh, do you have any ideas on like okay, how do we make sure that your party co involvement no who no pane election month? I'm still do we, very skeptical about that happening. About that you happening. come from a that very political I know. family. <laughs> So you know, because of that, yeah. I feel like it is just on paper, and in some time, when everything is done and dusted, then that person, whoever is elected, will definitely find an affiliation somewhere. Yes, no, it is not just about what happens after the elections. I mean, we can just go one more round on this topic, on this theme. It is not just about uh, happening after the elections. A lot of candidates, even if they don't have the party ticket because it's not allowed, no. have the party blessings. right yeah. now that is not necessarily a bad thing but i'm just wondering i mean sometimes a good candidate can also have the party blessings right can belong to a party camp that is not a crime it's not a sin so how would you so if you are privileged you are privileged yes privileged. it is i mean you yeah it. if you are privileged <laughs> and you don't care right if right. people mind your privilege in that sense i was thinking like if 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 i could have your thoughts on um, like we discussed earlier right so on whom should the responsibility be that even if people belong to political camps which everyone should really in a democracy this idea of being non partisan how does the, i mean how do we keep political parties out of it we are already hearing about pressure on candidates right some candidates to withdraw which is obviously coming from a political camp right it can't come from the other candidates it's an old trend in sikkim So, how do you think? I mean, do you have any thoughts on how we uh, address that issue? Who do you think for this to make sure that we go with uh, as least political party influence as possible? That lies with us only. That decision, you know, with with the, with, the, with the voters. You are saying Let as voters, as, as citizens. As voters, as citizens, so it's the onus is on us. You know, if we side with somebody. whose values and belief we relate to we have to stick with that ab alikiti next day ma ab if that person arko party sanga mile re who you don't like yeah and phiri and tyo manche na man parnu ta ab that's not given you know ab the the which is true afi hunu paryo which is why this platform we came up with this platform right because normally what happens is as citizens uh, you get to vote uh, you get to express yourself once when you go to vote mm. after that it's the leaders and the political parties who take over our idea was that these kind of platforms would be where we everybody gets to hear like what does what do the people really think they they never, they never listen to us right the opposition with the pound and any so this was to create that kind of a space you have something to say on that you got to say it more often i guess ana yeah yeah i would like agree with you 
agree with her. Uh, I think we as citizens need to come out more and voice our opinions because we see sometimes Aligati Mati protest, Aligati Abu to protest or Mundagari would say, Igdijana, it's just a small group. And the Abu to protest led the way as I was government, like last time what happened, yes. we all know. So we have many people, Gharma Basira, News Pardi Gargunsa, and they know what's right and what's wrong. So we don't have that culture where we come out and speak out. So agar because in the end it's a democracy, right? Government level ni manche lai paisa ke lara bam chigar lara manche ko majority ni to khud de sir. So people in power if they see ki aina manche lai je mon para ko chahi na re sir yo, then I'm sure they would also listen to us. Abu, we just need to be more, uh, we need to be communicating our ideas a bit more. I feel. And how how do we propose to do that? Like yeah, how do we like do that? Like you said, by it? creating a platform, and if anything goes wrong. Eh, People could always come out to the streets and protest. I think yes. that's lacking in Sikkim. I feel. Yeah, yeah. We yeah, should yeah. have somebody who's, you know, willing to hear us out. Yes. Like, like how she talks about the protest that happened. Mm -hmm. Is it related to that students yeah, yeah. from the? That's the most recent. But look, oh, just come out for a step out of your office for a second. Okay, what do what more do they want? <laughs> the no, which is also. an interesting theme that has come up. In a Amro Pilago discussions on opening Nikke Kip Nishke Kuraneo, ki politics in Sikkim is uh, campaigning or politics in Sikkim is leader on sa, Bashan din sa, mm -hmm. army audience on sa, Thapadi Marsa, mm -hmm. Jansa. After the election, our interaction with the leader is Miro yo sign Gardinus, Miro yo recommendation Gardinus, like scholarship, chadar, whatever. So it's very give and take. Material, right? like that says yeah. the thing. And one of the, I remember one of the panelists said, Ki, uh, like we have to find a way, like I would like to hear from you all about what you think about this, how missing it is, is it missing? And if it is missing, then what do we do beyond like this one bannus now, which like I don't know what our reach is, but what kind of, because, and your experience also of gang talk taking to the streets. Right, it, like people don't come out of the streets for everything, so that is there as well. So, what do you think, like, uh, about this? How desperately do the people want something like a leader who listen? Very much. We would obviously want somebody to listen to us when they come for campaignings and when they come to ask for votes. You know, they don't take appointments; they just walk into our homes. <laughs> yes, actually. No, I'm not saying that. We and we feel given. privileged that they visited us. <laughs> I'm not saying that when they are yeah. our elected representatives, I'm not saying that. That's not done because they have responsibilities. responsibilities. Busy. So, I don't think it's But still, maybe in a week, take out a day, and have an office sort of thing, like darbar sort of thing, call people over, that could be done, I feel. Mm, mm. Because that's interesting, that's something that we can experiment with the municipal um, yeah. format, right? Uh, would you like to add something to this? Um, like uh, the concept of town halls? The concept, like uh, starting off from the concept, I mean, okay, since we don't, end, so that we don't end up repeating ourselves. See the. It's not like the Janta Darbar idea is alien to Sikkim. Mm -hmm. Even the chief minister, previous yeah. chief ministers have done it. Now our experience of the Janta Darbars is like I'll go there with my application. No, that's right. So be I'll the go there with course. my application. Ki mero yaha footpath banana denu, mero yeah. ghar ko te yaha mm -hmm. uh, retaining retaining wall jari ra ko sathiyo banana denu. No, for that you have panchayat and now like that is all that used to happen, right? Like. Uh, because you just call it everybody who has work goes it. There was no culture. It was not like they'll be sitting and talking to you. Mm -hmm. So when when you kind of expound on that theme, also tell us a bit about how do these things, how do you propose, the two of you, when you get into this, is how do we organize something like this? Kina panchayat level, there is a gram sabha. In the gram sabha, there are a lot of voters, and they discuss development issues. Mm -hmm. They also discuss that my footpath, my house, I have to go to or Malai Chadar Chayo and all those things are also discussed but it is the entire village is there so I think the focus is very clear about ki dalle gaon ko lagi chai kya ramro honsa panchay in the municipal system we don't have such a practice so if you could also talk us a bit about you chai kasari formalize gano saksa ola amile 
अब हम लाइक लेट्स टक अबाउट कलेज हो अब हम प्रोजेक्ट होता फिर हमी लाइक वी इन्वाइट अ जूरी लाइक जो जूरी मेम्बर आने गिव अ स्क्रिप्ट हो सिक्किम में अनुलत सिंह इट्स वेरी प्रोमिनेंट रिमाक्स अन आवर वर्क हो सो गवर्नमेंट लुड उन वी सुड गिव दम अ रिमाक हो अब जो टीचर होमवर्क दिना फिर दे राइट समटाइम्स गुड very good excellent yes. bad you need mo- you need to put in more work and then they say we should be able to voice this out yes. the child has potential but very careful and uh, discussing the municipal elections and because we have such a big, like substantial women panel which is also very young uh, we'll now get into the gender issues with me are pemachomu suvarna nepal and uh, kunjan chuki so what we had ended the previous discussion with was this idea ki abo leader role pani sunnu pade and tyo jo bhannu ma jo ramro suncha of course kaile dekhin bhanda cha sunne 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 tara bhako chaina so we were think we, what we kind of had agreed upon is that even if the rules don't have such a clause there is nothing stopping a ward councilor whenever they are elected to say every month this venue this time your ward ko jati pani manche haru they want to attend such a discussion uh, deliberation consultation can just show up there we'll have potluck garda pani to huncha sapale koile chai la huncha aludam whatever chai roti is and picnic out tea momos and uh, we can sit and chat right something like this they can call us also we can go with our cameras and shoot that that is an idea so now moving on to the other themes that because we since we have you we don't want to miss that opportunity either to discuss what women uh what has your experience been of gang talk growing up as a girl and what do women normally want in a city because that is something that a municipal corporation can deliver that is something that you can put pressure on the ward councilor to deliver to ensure for the women here am I'm sure that none of you wants special treatment for women, no. but we are not even reached there. We equal आ जाएं उतने ही काफी हैं. So if if you could talk, and especially because of your training in architecture, right? If you could tell us, is Gangtok um, a city designed for women at all, or is there no such thing as that? Could we start with you, Suvarna? Um, I, I feel, feel like, like Gangtok, like socially, is a quite a good place, place for women. women. But um, um, there is about the internal prejudice, or ingrained patriarchy, or it's prevalent, I know. There are overall you don't feel the, uh, any like oppression, or so you don't have those kind of things, and any not only women, and na, but like old people, or like even the gang talk is not that good, and any I feel that way. Because of how it's designed, because Develop, of how it's whatever the word designed, and any about. अब वी हेव सम ओल्ड पीपल अरे है गाँव बस्ती भर इफ दे गेट सिक है हस्पिटल आंदा फिर हमी घर में राख्ह राख सो सनलाइट हर पाऊं अब जस्ट स्पेस को हिसाब से हर ओल्ड पीपल को लगी नट ओन्ली वुमेन हो बिकज उ एक प्रकार के अलग अलग Like weak part of the society, ne? They need special care, one room. Not in any other sense, but like, unar lai dekhe kono parsa, ne? Ab gaon vasti madhe they have sunlight, pani, or pay pawn unsa. Eta this to chaina, ab hinda firi pani road ko like road cheke ra hinnu parsa unsa. Ne? There is a constant fear unsa. Ne? Fear unsa. Ne? Like a uh, gadi might come, just come up unsa. Ne? And accident unsa. Ki bani ra? Chipli ne door unsa. Because roads are pani esta cha. Anta differently able like. Like hand, like especially with uh, physically disabled or like, but it's a very not a good place. Unsa ni abo Gangtok. So this time, apni we should look. I have slipped many times, so even for able people, it's not very good. Yes. So to his ability, we should look at the spaces. Unsa ni. So to you, my dear. And yeah, and because GMC town planning comes under GMC now, and uh, this is something that immediately they only have no success niyo. Tera. speaking just sticking with you one more for one more question speaking as an architect do you think things can be or do we just give up some areas acha esko chai abo ke garnu sakdaina ab chhod diyau eslai naya chai abo ramro para banau are you saying that or do you think ki jun chai kamile tyo kabada garisakeko cha 
Tesla pani there is some architectural magic that can be used. Better uh, informed choices can be made to improve those spaces. Do you have any options, sir? Definitely. Like, they use architecture in some kind of way is like problem solving. There's nothing we can't solve. We can come together. There's always a speed, like time time for improvement not as something needs to be replaced we can always intervene we need not destroy it when it needs a replacement we can always intervene and improve it there are many things we can do it's not impossible especially for a place as small as Gantok it's not a very big space because you know this is very exciting because lots of things we don't get involved saying a Primarily, most of this is done by private constructions. Okay. One is that problem area. The other is about banana. It's okay. About what can you do? Of the angle of footpath, you have to block the road. So, what can you do? Building the road, you can't. But you so, can't just say that. No, about nani bigri area. No, just take for instance, nani bigri. About drugs. Can you bigri? What can you do? About food. So, the house, not the will. Not saying that bigri. So, what can you do? You'll be surprised. A lot of people say that. <laughs> No, we try, we put in our efforts, no, but just to park at a lumina, just to tell Ramro Bonong, no, Koshish Koruna, we say that at least Alikita Halsani in effort. Yeah, since you bring that point up, you bring in that analogy and you mentioned that it is possible. Now, it is obviously the Sajilo Barato Bunyaina. Some strong decisions will have to be taken, some policy decisions. Mm -hmm. All of which is very interesting is that a ward councillor can propose. We are going back to the, the same GMC, theory. The GMC can deliver because they already have that power. Now, the sense I get is, I mean, you represent the constituents that the ward councillor is interested in, right? You're voters, you're living here, you'll be growing up here, you'll be starting families here, make a house that is probably hopefully better designed mm -hmm. than what you've uh, been living in so far. So are you saying that the people are ready like, how do we convince people that they are doing this? Because this idea is good, right? You just have to build a house, you don't have to build a house. People are always ready for development. People are ready for some difficult decisions to improve the quality of life, like we said. Yeah, exactly. I was going to say that. Gangtok as a city, obviously it's not very inclusive. Because most of our buildings are not disabled friendly at all. Completely. Yeah. So, but then if you talk about quality of life, Gangtok Ma, it's not very good. If, unless you are the house owner on the top floor. <laughs> yeah, there's no sunlight, ventilation. There are no problems, so the buildings are not, our tenants are dense, and there's a lot of city. So, you saw people like you said, what counselor comes into play over there? Because what we need for Gangtok right now is a master plan. Which has been like got the drafts in this case, and last time also we had this stakeholders meeting for the draft master plan, and not a lot of people showed up actually. Because nobody knew about it. Yeah, nobody knew about it. I think only one WhatsApp group group knew that yes, okay, on this half. Like, yeah, so exactly to to so that stakeholder meeting was also a kind of the oh yeah, I'm not a town hall go concept. Then he mentioned like, "Bola, I'm not go feedback line," but like we saw in that one, abo. Manche la yadi se na ki is to cheese hunde sa wani. So first of all, to abo, I feel like manche la master plan wani. Because you tell me yadi na what is master plan, na? Abo it's just a layout for future of a city. Abo tiyo hami plan ko desa. It's just like abo manche blueprint butsa, na? So it's just a blueprint for our city. Yeah. So I feel like the policy makers or like che they come into play. They need to first spread awareness. Manche or ma jagrukta falau nu porsha ki. Master plan is important, sir. And the design is how you can affect life more effect on yourself. Because I live manche this also just like Abu Bigrio, Nani Bigrio, Abu we can't do anything. But we need to show them the possibility. You know, it can't. It is not like that. There are things that can be rehabilitated. We can improve it. And um, during the last time the stakeholders meeting, my presentation, Bhagwati, this, my buni. 
उनीहरुको अप्रोच चाहिँ यस्तै थियो कि जुन चाहिँ अहिले हाम्रो यो ग्याङटक स्याचुरेट भइसकेको छ नि हाम्रो यो मेन हटस्पट भइसकेको छ सो दे हैड गिवन अप अन इट कम्प्लिटली दे वर टॉकिंग मोर अबाउट इट सो दैट के पनि गर्नु अब उनीहरुले मोर लाइक ग्याङटकको इन एन अराउन्ड रङका यता उता कसरी डेभलप गर्ने त्यो चाहिँ पुरा प्लानिङ गर्नु हुँदै थियो हैन सो एन मा त्यो एउटा क्वेशन आन्सर सेसन थियो त्यसमा हाम्रो त्यो आर्किटेक्चरको साइडबाट उनीहरुले सोध्नु भएको थियो कि लाइक व्हाट डू यू व्हाट अबाउट द एक्जिस्टिङ सिटी हाम्रो यहाँको एक्जिस्टिङ मान्छेहरू जो चाहिँ अहिले बसिरहेको छ रियालिटी हो नि त्यो त उनीहरुको प्रब्लम चाहिँ तपाईँ कसरी सल्भ गर्नुहुने सो दे ह्याड नो आन्सर टु इट बिकज दे ह्याड इन थट अबाउट इट नि आई एम श्योर देर नट इभन भिजिटेड इट सम एरिया या सो आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू रिक्वेस्ट अब हाम्रो पोलिसी मेकर्स लाइक कि प्लिज अब लाइक वेन यू हायर दिस पिपल यू आर पेइङ दम राइट मेक श्योर कि अब मान्छेहरूबाट पनि तपाईँ सल्लाह लिनुहोस् होइन इट त्यो उनीहरूले प्रेजेन्टेसन दिएको थियो इट फेल्ट लाइक इट वजन्ट भेरी वेल रिसर्च हुन्छ नि अब वी वर टकिङ अमङ्स आर सेल्फ इट वज लाइक त्यो हाम्रो हेलिकप्टर टुर हुन्छ नि ग्याङटकको हेलिकप्टरमा चढेर माथिबाट यस्तो यस्तो अरे ए यहाँ 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 यस्तो बनाउनु पर्छ एन्ड इट वज भेरी सर्फेस लेभल हुन्छ नि सो एन्ड इट वज अल्सो भेरी टुरिजम सेन्ट्रिक कि हामी यहाँ यस्तो बनाउँछ बिकज टुरिजम इज हाम्रो खतरा इकोनोमीको सबसे ठुलो यो बुस्ट गर्ने सो हामी यस्तो इन्फ्रास्ट्रक्चर बनाउँदैछ एन्ड इट वज मोस्टली फर टुरिजम द रिजनिङ बिहाइन्ड इट बट देन व्हाट अबाउट द पिपल लिभिङ हियर एभ्रिथिङ इज नट अबाउट टुरिजम नो यस यस एन्ड देर इज दिस होल आवर्स वी क्यान टक अबाउट प्लानिङ एन्ड मास्टर प्लान्स बट त्यो अहिले रिसेन्टली जुन चाहिँ काउन्सिलरहरूको टर्म एन्ड भयो आई वज टकिङ टु सम अफ दम वाइल यू प्रिपेरिङ फर दिस And I asked them, "Your master plan submit, but he didn't know. A ward councillor did not know that there was this stakeholders meeting. Mm-hmm. Okay, he's not on Facebook or whatever. He's on the wrong groups. Tha pai na. Kasari tha pai na is a whole different thing. He was not in office. Tha tha to paunu bande. So I said, okay, you, you le pani tiyari paare ho your master plan. Then orle aayega tha paisa na consultation kare ho. Like did they come to you and so they ho ki like tha pai ko ward ma kya chance ha?" what is the challenge what is the problem and then i'll bring the experts who will say ki acha kasari solve garnu sakcha he said not once nobody ever got in touch with the ward councillors to discuss ki tapai ko ward ma che ke chaincha so that is the level of so what i'm trying to get at now is that is the attitude towards consultation salla garne ko pratha hi chhaina ni hamro ma yeah haina someone took out a file and he said hamile sabai tha cha hamile afai gari ha cha so varna na kina sodhnu है ना ये तो अहिले इंटर्नशिप गर्दैछ हैन एन्ड शी इज नॉट इवन एन आर्किटेक्ट कुनजन इज बिजी रनिंग हर रेस्टुरेंट व्हिच हैज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट चैलेंजिंग स्टेज टू गेट टू हैन त्यो सीडी पनि हैव यू बीन टू बिब्लेटे यस यस या आई मीन लाइक सो व्हेन यू हर्ड दोस गैस्प्स लास्ट टाइम ऑफ पीपल कमिंग अप इट वाज देम राइट सो आई एम व्हाट आई एम ट्राइंग टू से इज दैट व्हेन त्यो सल्लाह गर्ने कल्चर नै छैन एउटा हैन घरमा पनि आई मिन स्टार्टिङ फ्रम द होम टिल गभर्मेन्ट्स एन्ड डिपार्टमेन्ट्स यो छ यहाँ चाहिँ हामीले भन्दैछ अब टाउन हल गर्नु होइन इट विल स्टार्ट फ्रम देयर सो हाउ डू यू प्रपोज दैट वी डू समथिङ लाइक दैट एन्ड देन वी विल हैव टु गेट इनटु हाउ डू वी गेट द वुमेन इन्वोल्व इन दैट होल डिसिजन मेकिंग प्रोसेस राइट सो इट इज गोइंग टु बी अ चैलेंजिंग टास्क आई थिंक एज मोर एन्ड मोर अफ यू स्पीक अप एंड नाउ आई एम गिविंग सम man's placing man's man's planning man's planning session here. as more and more of you speak <laughs> up it will help show us our place right so moving on from that like i would now like to kind of okay we'll start with you is give us a sense of growing up in gangtok as a girl and uh, same thing continuing with like do you think gangtok welcomes is comfortable for women when we're not talking about ki eating like thing personal opinion as like as a society as like, like uh, the places that are available to for you to go to yes well, i would say it's very welcoming and it has never been cruel it's always been kind to women i feel and i feel very safe secure you can i can move around at night anywhere anytime you know that uh, the fear is not there i have uh, been i have lived in the city i've been in i've been in delhi when i was doing my no. higher studies you know we don't compare know? anything about women to delhi like I mean, no like, i'm just trying to relate you know how unsafe i felt yeah. e- even being inside my house you know inside the rented apartment mm-hmm. i felt unsafe here i can walk in town at night and i don't still feel like feel fear mm-hmm. so i feel like it has 
only been kind. It's very safe for me. No, no, that we can agree, right? Right. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I mean, and uh, uh, maybe Pema can come in here. Is okay. I mean, like, it's safe for women to walk at night, right? Reasonably safe. Right. No, men can be very safe. Nahi, <laughs> na. You can, men also can run into drunk people who will act funny with them. Yeah. So uh, let's just, it's reasonably safe. Like uh, you won't have families panicking like. uh, if someone has not checked in in time enough. Right. Let's just kind of go with that. But it's still not convenient. Like uh, for instance, if you walked out after drinks with friends and are like tipsy or drunk or whatever and you still have to walk home, right? Mm -hmm. So it's not enough that it's safe for you to walk home. It's also about convenience. I mean, does Gangtok have enough things in oh, place? Oh, enough street lights, yeah. Enough street lights. I mean, because it's not just lecherous men. It's also like. stray dogs that are a problem <laughs> sometimes, right? And ditches, potholes. And all of that. I mean, yeah. Just general tiredness. I was just like. wondering whether these uh, Gangtok is kind of, do you look at Gangtok as, I mean, was it different when you were small and have things changed now? And uh, how would you improve it as far as making spaces? You, you know, know this, 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 this there's this person, person I was talking to once, and, and he pointed out he was talking about Delhi. So you appreciate that. So he was walking with a girl, mm -hmm. and, and they were walking behind the office or whatever, some, some gully. gully. And, and this guy said he walked, and the girl was walking with him. And, and then she pointed out to him, do you realize, I mean, this is the privilege men enjoy. Like when you walk out on this lane, you, you just walk, walk out and, and at the, the most you'll be scared to go churi le jayega, but what you rakir le jayega. But you think the women, the moment they step out, are immediately forced to become conscious of their surroundings. Is it safe? Is that a blind spot? Can someone jump on? Like, so we know that about Delhi. Do you think, does that hit you when you're moving around Gangtok as well? Yeah, as I've grown older, um, my, um, as a kid, I don't know. As a kid, so gender doesn't exist, no. yeah. right? Until you become that is only old. like teenage, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but as I've grown older, no, I've become more and more fearful of men. I'd say hmm? uh, because I don't Gang trust men. Hmm? Gang like men, men in general, men in general men because uh, experiences, yeah, yeah. like personal experiences, you can't trust anybody. I feel <laughs> it's just a personal opinion. Uh -huh. Uh, you can't trust anybody. So I'm always, always, always very aware and conscious and always alert. And as far as like drink, drinking with friends and going late home, that's out of the question. My parents, they panic. My mother, she calls me at like, even if I don't get home by seven, she calls me up and like, where are you? And Do you have a brother? No. I have a cousin brother? younger sister. Okay. I have a cousin brother and I have seen first and You the also get seven o'clock calls? The privileges he enjoys compared to his uh, siblings who are uh, uh, girls. I've seen it first and I'd say patriarchy sucks, but yeah, uh, it's what it is. But I wouldn't blame uh, anybody actually because it's how we have been conditioned as a society. Uh, it's internalized, right? So I feel like there's a lot of uh, unlearning to do. Everything's not uh, black or white. So uh, one way is uh, your topics are much. Uh, public discourse, uh, like uh, transparent parallel. We should have more discussions on these topics so that because most of the men or like it's even women who are a part yeah. of this picture. We also so it's mostly it's not like women are not a part of the system. So if we have this we discussion and we say this these things are we feel aren't right. So obviously those people will also think reflect back me and think, hey, okay, this is where we're going wrong. There's a lot of unlearning to do. We learn and we unlearn. So uh, we don't have to think, hey, this is a man, uh, your patriarchy, toxic masculinity. Uh, he can also unlearn and maybe he'll be better. So uh, yeah. And no, really, and changing attitudes towards women, you have to re-educate the men. Yeah. Right? Otherwise, what's the point? Just convincing yourselves is not enough. Yeah, exactly. We should have more conversations, I feel, with the men, actually. And who do you think has should take the lead on that? Because I'm thinking leaders need to take the lead on that because they've got the mandate, right? They've got yeah. some validity to whatever they... Well, do whatever they enough? say people listen to. Yeah. At least they... Yeah. Tokenism to hota hai. Mm. Yes, because then... Okay, let me uh, uh, bring that back. So what happens in municipal elections and in panchayat elections is you've got 50% reservation for women. Now, what, do you, what are your thoughts on that? Okay. 
दिस इज वॉट वी डेड फर वुमेन इम्पावरमेंट अरे अंत इलेक्ट भी भो अरे बट इज जस्ट अब मेरे काम भाई अब भो खाल दैट लीडर हु इज इलेक्ट इज शी हर्ड इन अफ आर वी सल्विंग इश्यूज यू नो दैट्स वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग वॉट यू पॉइंट आउट एंड आई एम नॉट इंडोर्सिंग एनी लीडर्स और एनीथिंग लाइक दैट बट दिस इज द थर्ड इलेक्शन राइट दिस इज द थर्ड municipal election in sikkim uh 50% of the seats have been reserved for women for two terms now this is the third term it's going to be reserved 50% of the voters more or less mm -hmm. i mean this is the first time that there are more men in urban areas as voters than women otherwise the last two municipal elections the number of women voters was higher than the male voters and still gangtok has not had a female mayor even though half the councillors for two terms and now the third term will be a female uh, like, yeah. so that brings back to your point of koi sunta bhi hai mm. like do you suffer that i mean you are an entrepreneur right i mean you run a business um, and uh, do you still come across these situations where and you You're can not... come in as professional as well i mean architects i think are slightly more sane people right in the circles that you move in like where we not are not the, taken seriously yes. No? Oh. yes as a business person right i mean like, you're a daughter at home you are a friend with others but as a business person do you think you're taken as seriously as let's say if i your age running a similar business do you see have you noticed that difference in how people of course because people still don't know about me It's been three years that I've been running this enterprise on my own, single-handedly. But people still don't know about it. If uh, had a man been in place of me, it would have been, you know, it's the pura bil bots ma chapi da ko. Yes. So yeah. Yeah. Stopping you from. <laughs> no. We are interviewing her, right? <laughs> <laughs> As an entrepreneur. Unsa? Because you know the gender-based. rules and then that that is given to us no, no because so i think for you all it becomes worse right correct me if i'm wrong here or just add to what my observation is for you all it's worse because it's not just your gender that's working against you it's also your youth right so if you walk into a government office like like it's not just that who is oh, this kid so who's come to that's tell what, me about it's the it's shanu they say kid in upchala i mean do you mm. think that happens has it happened uh in my own circle in my own workplace yeah, yeah. Uh, it doesn't happen no, it's course, a very fair you course. fair on but yeah Everyone outside right yeah outside of that mm -hmm. yeah i feel this about kitchen or so lot i'm mm. not taken seriously at all even like yeah it's a new shan by my side or mommy abo another thing is like unless you have a government job you are not taken seriously in like Your Inspector, which profession? Yeah, though. Irrespective yeah. of the which profession, degrees? they would even encourage you to just leave architecture and just like whatever vacancy Teacher. opens up. Teacher. Okay, vacancy. Teacher, a government job to apply for no need, I'm sure. And about that's the kind of thinking that. But that's I still get that told by. Suffer. That's what the youth suffer, right? Or is it? Ex I mean, most youth face that at home, right? And so, like uh, coming to Sovarna, right? I mean, you picked a profession that is not immediate, like. quickly recognized as something that the women norm naturally need to do right they'll be quicker to pick up a like doctor yeah i can't think of any teacher more. teacher <laughs> say, you can, nurse. <laughs> yeah i mean i would say nurse as well i would say nurse as well but then like when we're talking ambitions you probably aim higher so but i'm not saying anything against nurses here but no but was there some kind of not just in your family right you want to not get dad angry but in the general uh, extended family was there ki like she's got the marks why does she want to become an architect was there anything like that or ki you to keta role karne kaam ho not particularly but like uh, they like people tend to say in any architecture like e like they think of you more as an engineer in any so they like like to associate interior design with a uh, woman in any like mero is to लाइक कोठा हेदिन लस्त खाल नट एज अ डिजाइनर बट मोर अफ एन इंटीरियर डिजाइनर हो लाइक भि भि को सो इट्स मोर लाइक बिकज यू टेन टू सी मोर वुमेन इंटीरियर डिजाइनर्स हो सो 
architect hai na tar interior design ko hisab le che they tend to do that actually yeah that i slept interior designing is again something a women will do right yeah they Primarily. tend to do that <laughs> actually so something like about this this they know that is also like no, gender gender specific that. that's the perception <laughs> because it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's because it because it incorporates and it's mostly about home yeah mm. homemakers yeah. Home, home that's why yeah. only like mostly only mm. women so take that like role रेस्टुरा त्यही त अब होइन आई कुड इफ आई वाज गिभन अ चान्स टु बी अ शेफ अफ सम यु नो होटेल वुड आई हेभ बिन लाइक मोर सक्सेसफुल वुड आई हेभ बिन इन द सेम लीग विथ द मेन आई अलवेज क्वेस्चन दैट आई मिन सक्दैन है घरमा चाहिँ काम गर्नु है घरमा चाहिँ ओन्ली वुमेन वर्क ओन्ली वुमेन टेक केयर अफ द किचन अरे होइन So where once you step out of the house, own dinner, you have to yeah, be I mean, a subordinate. Of course, it is. We just that we're naturally expected to take the back seat when our things are like, alik kam ko kura chali ki important decisions are made. Naturally, I'm a back seat leader, boss no boss. We're just there to do the chores. लार्ज इज hugely favorable towards men mm-hmm. public spaces and when i was talking about that gully episode mm. that how it differs i mean there were people I mean, you know that right you've been in the cities you've uh, seen how things are the moment you get into a lift a guy will just saunter in but a girl the moment like she's entering that close space is like i'm completely kind of wrapping up and like immediately like if in a defensive position uh. in that sense if you can get an idea i mean is gang does gang talk require and it's not about whether gang talks people are good or bad right mm-hmm. i'm not i cut the drop the people out of it drop the men out of it mm-hmm. like uh, if, but are our spaces has any thought gone into designing the public spaces in a way that vi- it also looks out for women like that's what i'm kind of thinking of what? like I, i even like i don't know i want to know from you all like um the sulab shochalyas right mm. uh, at mg marg or whatever right the men ones are like the dirtiest places you can be in are the women's toilets any better has anyone thought of like i don't know these kind of things mm. has any thought you think in town planning factored women in where you say okay this i'm sure someone thought okay how will women be using it has that ever occurred to any of you sadly not no. where could we see it i mean if we if we saw a a slightly more aware planning in which aspects do you think we could have improvements and we can talk from personal experience you and i right because we're not architects hmm. we'll put the pressure on them to give <laughs> actual examples <laughs> but uh, i was just thinking like um, i mean one is street lighting right no like street lights so that is like you should not be it's okay to have it somewhere it's okay there are street lights but the bulbs are missing Yeah, I mean that's maintenance also. Yeah. Maintenance, okay. I have a manchil chord. This okay, keep on this way. Because I'd like But to see how having, let's say, a woman administrator result in some conscious decision making. Because I think of uniforms, right? I think of I look at school uniforms, and I thank God I'm not a girl. Because I think for girls in a hill station like sikkim with the kind of weather it has to force them into skirts makes no sense to me and 
how the kids, uh, half the time these kids are wearing track pants inside their skirts and mm. going to school anyways, right? Because of various reasons. Like I'm thinking at that level, right? Everything is kind of um, designed and uh, decided by men. I don't know mm. if you all were old enough when the colleges adopted uniforms. You saw how horrendous they were. <laughs> like how impossible or how impractical they were. So I'm thinking of those kind of levels. And does that kind of sometimes offend you? And I'm not saying girls should not wear skirts, right? I mean, that's not at all what I'm saying. What I'm saying is these are like, they had no choice. Like yeah, they because that they you are a girl out. and you are supposed to wear skirts. Yeah. And that's how it was designed. But I've never given a thought, not a single penny's thought. Why, why were we? Me to wear skirts. Which make no sense, right? <laughs> it's just so that you can't play around and uh, you're not comfortable. And, and imagine if know. our school had like flights of stairs. Yes. All of Gangnam has flights of stairs. And this is how you walk. I know. We used to walk like this. <laughs> yes. wow. All the boys used to like, the balcony was very disarranged. Yeah, their dad probably us. designed the skirt. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, no, that's what I'm getting at. I mean, like, it has to go from that level, right? So what are the things that you would, where you can have interventions, right? <laughs> I think skirts have to go. I mean, like, if anything, that should be a matter of skirts. Either have a choice. Have a choice. prefer wearing skirts, so. I don't think so. They do. What? No, as a matter of choice is fine. I'm talking as a matter of, is it comfortable? Oh, yeah, that's a good place to start. Is it comfortable? It's not comfortable. Like you said, you can't jump around, you can't play around in skirts. Like when we used because to have specific... Know, originally, I was can. thinking more of the winter. Huh? I was thinking about like it's cold and things like that. Mm. And in but school, of course it's like very awkward, for yeah. like specific purposes, like on Saturdays, all our sports classes would be held on Saturdays. So on Saturdays, we used to wear divided skirts, if you remember. I never wore one, so I was No, <laughs> but you taught there, so you know. Yes. So we had yeah, something like a no, half we, pant, yeah. with like so shorts. It's these shorts that look like skirts. Yeah. 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 So I would do. No, no, no. I was just saying, like, what was the need to make it look like a skirt when essentially uh, it's it a could have short. been a it's short. Feminine. It's feminine. We've allowed that to happen, right? <laughs> <laughs> now, the whole idea of masculinity and femininity and gender, we see gender as a binary, right, in our society. Yeah, now I've lost count of what those acronyms oh. stand for. Like, I don't know what they but expand what into. But now? yes, continue, please. No, not about that. I'm just talking about gender identity, <laughs> yes, yes. not like sexual orientation yeah. or anything. But yeah, gender identity. Some people, uh, a while people are getting more aware about gender dysphoria and how people identify, you know. It's just like man and a woman is uh, societally abo create uh, labels to better explain or like, so that we fit into that narrative of what's masculine, what's feminine, see, our binaries, mm. no? black, white, stuff like that. So, that's why we have to inclusivity. That's why we have schools. Yeah, why not give them choices? No, yeah, what, what do a lot you want of, to wear? I just want to say, there's a lot of bullying in our schools. Ma, if someone's different, yeah, neurologically course. different, just, uh, just about how they want to express themselves. So, about two kurama puni, a little awareness fell out, fell out about society ma, so that everybody is made aware of things. I was just saying, our society ma, normal consider God, you know, but which is in fact actually not what is normal is. About who are you to decide what's normal, right? So, about regarding those things also, if there were there was awareness, then I think it would be very cool. And then gang talk could be, Abu Sikkim could be an example, isn't it? Yeah, because I mean, th th this is something that, uh, since we're also talking municipal elections and councillors, this is something that can, these people who are representing people at a much smaller level, because what council ko to area footprint ekdam shano sani, consultations are easier. So I was just thinking, uh, what you say is quite interesting, you know. I mean, these ideas, we hear it often, but you idea, Ruta, school ma normalized garo pachita. Even if we fail, that generation will mm -hmm. take exactly, it somewhere, exactly, no? Exactly. Because okay, I mean, just to push that idea further, like we were talking about how, like, okay, this in school itself, we go to school and we start off with, okay, men are like this, boys are like this, girls are like this, right? Boys are in half pants and trousers and being naughty, and girls are like prim, proper, and wearing skirts. Let's say, and like right? That's blue, the general. And like blue and pink. Mm. Okay, yes, blue and pink and yes, polka dots and Barbies and guns. I mean, we've done all that, right? 
What I'm uh, trying to ask you is, I mean, and you all can jump in here as well, is do you think one way of normalizing is, is homogenizing it? Like boys and girls wear the same uniform? Like, even visually I'm talking about, right? Boys and girls, there should be no difference in uniforms. And I have a problem with uniforms or concept itself, but <laughs> let's say, let's say that, that boys and girls have the same uniform. And of course you give them the choice that yeah. if you want, you could do this, you, yeah. whatever. Yeah. You think that is a good idea to explore? That is a good idea to explore, but then we can't just put it out there, no? First we need to sensitize. Hmm. I mm. imagine, a school okay. management deciding it, I think, ho jayega. Oh, you mean at a pol policy level across the board? Yeah, we have to sensitize, no? Because I live manchini aware, say, no? You sabhi kura go bariyama. Obviously, our kid, if uh, non-binary ya jibuni, ab just to jo jibun mm -hmm. gender identity sir, if they want to escort her, ab but uh, normal society perceives ki, I know this per this kid is yeah, supposed yeah. to wear pants and trousers, but he wants to really wants to, he, uh, they really want to wear a skirt or no? Ab such chindi ab just to abhi mani choice de re. Skirt lagara go hai. Obviously, bully goes a man shirley, kill you wrong, sir. Mm. So, first you need to change, uh, educate people on those matters, and then I will slowly bring in the change, I feel. I think that's, yeah, we are aiming very high with yeah. that, but why should we? Isn't it? I mean, why shouldn't we look at a situation <laughs> where it, we are just, uh, everything yeah, is normal? Like at least we can put it out there, no? Uh, the seeds, ki so Yes, and I think these uh, ward councils, because again, going back to the same thing, they represent very small things. If they have a concept of listening to people, mm -hmm. these ideas can be seeded. And I mean, like, the politician will say what he thinks will sell with the, uh, his constituents as well, right? Yeah. If enough voters say, Ki, amro area ma che, wo, parsa, then it'll parsa be implemented. Why will he not do it for the votes? Mm. Yeah, but going back, what, uh, we dropped that idea of reservations uh, midway, right? Uh, what do you think about it? Uh, the idea that 50% of the seats are reserved for women. Uh, I think that's a great start, but uh, as everyone said, women are like not taken seriously. Like, they take a back seat. Right? So I think... We should view people as... Based on their skills, based on their uh, experience, not as a gender. Ex we come back to that only. If we have a man, woman, we won't be having women ko issues only. Mm. It will be like as a human, the problem is solved. By so sometimes I feel it's the same. It's a very yeah. complex thing. Until it is, it is completely, completely. Because uh, taking up from your point, so what would you say? I mean, uh, maybe you could answer that. Who takes the lead in this? Should the women, 50% of the women who have been elected, mm -hmm. should they form a group or a club and come together and say, yes, sir, we, have to, uh, we have to be more expressive? Or it will again, the, you want no, the leader, the some leader, main all. leader to it's say, yes, It's not like women are just sitting no, no. there and just enjoying the 50 percent of you know attention that they are give, getting this to taina but i feel like sometimes men should stand up for women you know I mean, so, uh, also about this 50 percent what do you think is it see what is happening elsewhere in the country and i'm sure it's happening a lot in sikkim also is that your 50 percent reservation is not a female leader who's standing there. Yeah, it is the wife or daughter of a male yeah. leader because he can't contest. Mm. Abo because abo ticket, seat ta, obviously, a women seat. Banai aldeo, la. So now what to do? Abo, 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 <laughs> I wouldn't have been here. I would have been filing my nominations. No, yeah. <laughs> uh, You see that? Uh, any experience of that, or you just know? Okay, ha, aisa hota hai. It's obvious. It's obvious that this happens, yeah. Yeah, because we we don't see the results, right? We don't see strong enough women leaders. I mean, which is surprising. No, you know? not I mean, like strong enough. Thai na, the women are strong. Uh, no, no, no. Leaders. Oh. I'm talking about politically. Leaders. In the political oh. space, you don't have a Mayawati from Sikkim. That is what I meant. Yeah, or a Jayalalitha. Why shouldn't they be? 
Yes. Okay. Maybe I don't know much about leaders. Oh, you know. So from what she said, I guess it's because of that. Also, someone wants to abu contest anta buri na ba chori la. Oh, it will be like somebody so, uh, that I'm sure ki face usko, mati unche ni la. Usko the decision or say actually uh, will be taken by the father or the husband or whoever the male in the family. Yeah, that's happened. That's happened like elsewhere in the country where they had 33 percent reservation. Tio bhayo. But at the same time, I'll give you, and you tell me as women, right, mm -hmm. how this works, the equations. You've seen other women in the family and things like that. So in Bihar, UP, also this happened, 33%, not 50, 33% reservation. And what they realized is, okay, the first time it was the Sarpanch ka wife mm -hmm. or daughter. So one time oh, they were very good girls, like okay. doing whatever the father or the husband was saying. But once they realized how powerful they are, mm -hmm. they started expressing themselves. So do you think do you think the women leaders or the women politicians in Sikkim have that kind of? Uh, can we exp like? You think? I mean, like, I'm not talking about the leaders. I don't. Mm. I'm not saying you should know the Just leaders. Just politicians. I'm talking about you know women. Yeah, we know women. <laughs> We've seen women who yeah. voice their opinions pretty like. Unsani. Strongly. Strongly, artic they're articulate or not, yeah. but. Abu, <laughs> we, we haven't the seen them stand the day, up. No, we are Abu, maybe it's because the party, they don't get any party with a ticket. Abu, they don't get. This is all narrative. We don't get any family or room discussion. The politics, man, see, Ramro man, see, they only politics. Man, don't know. Hey, man, don't know. Because people were like. Yeah, I think, and that is what is and exciting. Women, and coming back to women, you know, if if supposing I stand for elections, I contest for elections, and then you know there'll be talks like. यो तो उत्तो कुनी कोस को कुनी कुन्चे एमएलए और कुनी कुन्चे मिनिस्टर को दैट शी इज बैक्ड बाय देम और या और बेबी प्रॉब्ली स्लीपिंग विद देम यस यू नो टू बी वेरी ब्लंट अंचे अंचे क्वेश्चंस एंड दिस क्वेश्चंस जस्ट टू अवॉइड दैट आल्सो आई ना अब जान देना वाला मानची ते खुटा टेक देना तेज में या � not allow women their space because you'll not never hear this about men you will never hear ambition as being a negative when it mm. comes to men for women in it, it's an absolute no no right i mean am i like no. i'm sure you have seen that right like in your own uh, you've not lived very long lives yet but i'm sure crazy. you've seen it yeah. yes so yeah i mean that's and these are things that i think a ward council election mm -hmm. a party less municipal body election can bring about a change in perceptions in, right? You could actually get good candidates. It need not be dirty. So on that note, I'm, and I've been told that we've already gone on very long. So I have no idea how long we've been going on. I think it's getting dark outside. But as, no, no, it's not actually getting dark. But uh, on a closing note, right? And we bring back, we discuss a lot of things uh, beyond the municipal elections, but, and I'm sure there's so much more we need to do. But final comments, you could, Pick your, uh, make your choice on what you'd want to talk about, but ward councillors, what are you looking for in a candidate who will be representing you at the ward council level? And we'll just pretend that you're also ward council, you are also going to be electing one ward councillor, right? What qualities in them will excite you? And I mean, what qualities should they have? Let's go with that. What qualities, if they have, you'll go out and press the button on election day, even though you're not interested. Let's start with you. Yeah, firstly, I'm not interested. I don't even know yes, if I'm going. What I'm saying is, what if there is this candidate who does Who's something like blows that, my mind? Yes, okay. yes. And you say, okay, I need yeah, to support this. Yeah, for someone this. to blow my mind, what does that person need? Yes. As a ward level, I mean, we're not yeah. talking prime minister and chief ministers. Nothing. <laughs> nothing. No plans. Nothing. No. There's nothing that they no can hope. do. I have no hope. Like I have no hope. <laughs> oh, that's. What if you, okay, I'm just going to press this point now. <laughs> what if you... You have like set on your... Yes, no, no, but what, what if we get a candidate, what if we get a candidate who's fresh in the way they explain things, who are genuine in their ways of uh, accessing, understanding what the area and its people need. People who are generally aware of this and open to suggestions. I mean, all of these points you don't find in any politician. Still no? Oh, he brings the rope to your house. Huh? He says that the rope will make a special stop at your house. No, I don't want a rope. I want lots of money. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, that's an easy way. Right? That's the easiest way. The, there is, that, that's one way that elections are won and lost in Sikkim. Mm. 
So, Subhana, what about you? So, obviously, money is not going to work on you. Or maybe it will. <laughs> yeah, it will. It tend, might. It, will tend. <laughs> it always does eventually. <laughs> but the thing with money for elections is, you don't sign a contract. You can take the money and vote. Anyway. Yeah. So that's the best part yes. about it. And not vote at all. No, and vote you'll have to, because they'll be watching oh, the yeah. EVM station. Unless yes. She, yeah. yeah. Unless she gets victimized, there's a possibility of victimizing. They yeah. can't victimize me. I'm not a government servant. No, they can conduct a raid. You're definitely breaking ten different laws because there are so many laws in our country that you're scaring you're always me now. breaking some law. <laughs> yes. What are you looking for in a ward councillor? I guess uh, the first thing would be like transparency in the governance. So another thing would be Unchani, like. Uh, but how do they convey that during campaigning? Mm. I'm just kind of. I think that's like we have to look at uh, the person st uh, like st who's standing up. We have to like do a background check. I think that's very important because his Facebook profile, Instagram, not Facebook <laughs> profile, but like, a general yeah. yes. tidbit yes, of yes, a, yes. like what his work like what has he been working on or has he done anything that is very similar to this he or she I mean or any person and um, in that way we should have a basic knowledge like how he might work after he comes into power so and with that we need to have transparency because we need to be knowing what is going on at every level so for that we have I think right now social media is, is very prevalent, so I think we'll get an, an update. We, we should be getting an update every once in a while. Second thing would be uh, not only a literate person, but an educated person, a person who is willing to work with others. Uh, I think main, uh, one of the main things is level we need to have like shano shano bodies in every place who can report back to the person. like. Prema yeah. said, to his able, we need a system that is very important. A person who is willing to do that you know, should be very, like, I would be supporting that kind of a person. You know? hmm. Yeah, that's interesting. I mean, someone who promises transparency but not just says it but also yeah. tells you how, how they're going to deliver yeah, on, exactly. uh, on that end. And how are we going to convince Prema to shift her voting to a municipal area? Let's say this candidate who has to be so good that you'll say, okay, I'll give up my vote in Kabi and I'll come and vote in Taranjan or something. Um, uh, I'll just use adjectives. <laughs> uh, first of all, they have to be very progressive, open-minded, open to ideas, uh, empathetic. Empathy is very important. On the I think main on the if they just sh show and like, if they can just show that, I am willing to put in the work, real work, and I will time effort. I will do the time effort. I will do the time effort. I will do the time effort. I will do I don't I get lazy vibes from our leaders. So, yeah, <laughs> so yeah, I mean, yeah, they forget uh, people. Yeah. Yeah, that's why, that's why yeah. there is your general hopelessness in the youth is because of that only, no, actually, because we haven't seen them actually go and deli deliver. Been a real change at all in the attitude <laughs> yes. Yes. otherwise why wouldn't we as youth want to be involved in politics because it regulates everything politics regulates everything in our life they're just faces changing yeah, not Nothing too many great changing. role models yeah, they yeah. Yeah. No, not somebody to mm -hmm. look up to yes yeah. 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 So they like if the way they uh, conduct their campaign will be very telling of what kind of a purse. Actually. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but they boy love is the youth coach or a halla gar or a gadi gypsy ma chaur or a hiya bani chhe no. Ina tio it's just. Which is what is happening with a lot of candidates. <laughs> just to warn you. Up. No, I mean like there is a way to do. Who you need? Yes, Abo okay. okay. Lo gypsy ma chaur or zanu. <laughs> but when you talk to <laughs> us, makes sense. Unse ni don't just. Make castles in the sand, Khalke. And listen. Yeah, listen, be realistic. I think the short term goals are not obviously promises change the Nike Army Cancer Hospital and all this stuff like But yeah, small, small <laughs> promises. Which they can't deliver. Yes, a clinic they probably can. Uh, yes, yeah, small promises. And just generally listening to the people. They work the effort, they are competent. Incompetence for us, I am administration. Yeah. 
mediocrity. We celebrate mediocrity. level and mediocrity. Yeah, I've seen you. Okay. <laughs> 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 but I have seen people being proud of their ignorance, kyo? boasting about it, making jokes and like having fun. But I think it's high time that Sikkimese people need to get serious. Because I gang talk I live on about we need to really be serious about things that matter. It municipal election khelaichi haina ni je chadar ma bikne time haina ni aile kyo we need to really think about the where we are going as a society hamro jaga ke hundesa there are lots of things to talk about but i think this is just a small starting point your award election bara and then let's see abo kasto hunda raicha oh yeah and on that idealistic and hopeful note hopeful yes thanks a lot for being here and thank you for tuning in thanks thank you thank you This was fun. <laughs>